How's it going everyone? This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur and welcome back to this let's play of Mortal Online Season 4. Okay, so I'm back to playing this game. I've been away for I think maybe a week or something like that. And so basically I've been a bit busy and so I haven't had time to play this game as much. But uh, today uh, I'm back and I'm gonna return to Tindrum. Uh, I've got a few business to conduct there and also my three alts are waiting for him. <laughs> Basically, uh, yeah, my three alts, they're semi-dependent on Tibers to uh, bring them uh, materials and, you know, like carcasses and stuff like that, you know, war chunks and other stuff. And so I'm going to be transporting 27 gold again today. Like last time, I've transported 20 gold last time, and this time I'm going to be <laughs> transporting even more. Now, I know it's going to be a bit risky, uh, because just now there was a few players outside. Oh, they've gone. <laughs> just now there was um, a few mounted players uh, in front of me when I logged in. <laughs> and my horse is... Uh, clipping through the terrain, through the walls, but uh, so I'm going to leave my the armor that uh, crew gave me, I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to return with the stuff that I brought with me as well as uh, 27 gold. Now I'm debating whether to bring these these two items back I'm thinking I'll just leave it here uh, the Norse Claymore, hmm I think I'll just leave it here. Now I'll just... What is this? Rosemary something. <laughs> Don't know whether it's a, whether it's a thief or not. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make a move. <laughs> They're looking at me, I don't know why. It seems like this is a... Uh, the time when a lot of players log in. Now I'm just hoping that uh, I won't get ganked on my way. Oh, and what is this? What is this? How did that end up in here? Uh, and why is my... Oh, <laughs> I'm not even wearing my... Yeah, I, th I thought I put the... Uh, I thought I put my rags on me instead it ended up in the bank so all right so we're gonna try and make our way quietly like last time out of here and so I do have some business to conduct back in Tindrum there's a guy and that reminds me I should um, add That's a V. <laughs> and as you can see, my my friends list has been completely wiped for some reason. I logged in just the other week, and when I logged in, my friends list was blank. Save for crew, and I think one other guy. I think it's Squeegee. And, well... Man. <laughs> You can barely see in front of you more than a few, uh, you know, a few meters ahead. It's really hard to see, but uh, that's because of the new weather system revamp. So now there's things like fog, and you know, uh, the clouds will form, and there'll be, <coughs> you know, uh, rain, snow, and lightning which can strike players so and by the way I should mention that this is the point seven one so I think it's the first video that I'm recording with the point seven one patch and so it seems like oh man how am I gonna get through this what is this <laughs> there's a whole bunch of um, rats are rats are thingies rats are hunters oh no I think these things can these things can uh, can spit. 
Maybe I'll just... And I think that is the, uh, <laughs> the ant line in this game. Let's go and get a closer look. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is a... Uh, I don't know what's in there. I really don't know. But uh, one of my viewers told me that I'm guaranteed to die if I go in there. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm probably I'm not going to go in there today. Okay, so anyways, I was saying, uh, Nada V, he's, he says that he, uh, he would like my Tindromic long cloak cape, because he's seen it uh, when I opened my bank in one of my videos, and he says he's asking whether he could have it, whether, he's, whether I could sell it to him for, you know, for gold, and I told him that I'll sell it to him for five gold, and so I've asked him to... Yeah, I told him that I'll COD it to him, but uh, I think he's already sent me five gold, so now I've just got to... Yeah, I think that, that could be a Red Star Queen, <laughs> with the back sticking out. And so I'm just going to go back and and send the uh, send the cape to him. And so, over the past week, I've been looking at uh, some other sandbox MMORPGs that are similar to Mortal Online. And no, I'm not looking at Dark Ball. <laughs> uh, you know, I think Dark Ball is, um, you know, I think Dark Ball is, is quite similar, but uh, it's also different in other aspects as well. Uh, specifically, I've been looking at uh, Life is Feudal. Gloria Victus and this other game that's in I think it's in pre-alpha or something not even pre-alpha I'm not too sure but it's called uh, Chronicles of Valeria or COE now that name is uh, the acronym is a little bit uh, it almost reminds me of uh, Embers of Keras which is a older uh, sandbox MMORPG that never made it out the door uh, it had some tech demos and then after that it, sh it just um, shut down so I'm not sure <laughs> you know it, it just kind of reminds me of that game because you know Keras, uh, Embers of Keras is C uh, COE and then no sorry e EOC <laughs> so it's almost you know uh, Chronicles of Valeria in reverse the, uh, the acronym and so I've been looking at uh, Chronicles of Valeria, and, and you know, um, there's, I think there's some Mortal Online players that are already, you know, have already created their guild or their kingdom in the in, in the game that will, you know, in, in be released in the future, and and so yeah, I've been looking at those those games. And now, uh, Chronicles of Valeria is seems like a very promising game. Uh, it's you know they've got a lot of unique features. You know, look out for everything in this game. <laughs> um, so and so it does look very appealing, and I can see why a lot of players have um, you know already started creating their guild or their kingdom in preparation for the games to release. However, I'm for me. I'm going to be keeping a uh, just you know, staying you know just staying on the fence because from past experience, I've seen that a lot of games when they've not even been released and not even been in pre-alpha, uh, they make a lot of uh, you know they you know they make a lot of promises or well, not promises, but they they create sort of hype for players to jump on the bandwagon and to support their game and you know all that but 
you know the thing I'm concerned about is that if it doesn't make it out the door if it doesn't get released then you know it, it's going to lead to a lot of disappointment and you know it can create a lot of um, you know anger okay so we're So we are making good progress so far, but there's still a long way to go. <laughs> and uh, I think the biggest challenge is will be when I get back to Marland and I have to run through. Yeah, then I have to run, make a run through, you know, the southwestern side of the continent in order to get back to Tendrum. <coughs> Let's see whether there are any crocodiles here. I think last time when Crew and I were here we were looking for crocodiles to hunt, but <laughs> but it turns out that someone's already been there and hunted it hunted hunted them all, so Now just rest. Let my <clears throat> let my mount recover the stamina, just in case. <laughs> just check whether I still have it, because you never know. Now I don't know if you if you uh, if you've seen or heard of a player named Grey Fox. Now he's a I think he's the, the head of the uh, Thieves Guild in this game. And yes, there is a Thieves Guild. Now, if you've seen his videos, you will notice that he is very quick. Uh, I watched his video and and he basically dashes in behind someone's behind a player and then snoops in and takes something out and then runs off again. And that and all that takes less than two seconds. I think two seconds or less. <laughs> oh, there's a player. Oh, he's on foot. Okay. Oh, he's on mount. Oh, there's another player. And they're on mount as well. I hope they're not circling back. Ooh. I can still see that player. All right, let's hope let's hope that uh, they don't follow me. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, Grey Fox is a uh, is a very experienced and very skilled thief. So. <laughs> So you've, you've always got to check your inventory, even if you haven't seen the message that flashes across your screen when someone's snooping your pocket, you should always check, because <laughs> you never know. One, one second your item is there and the next second it's not. So. But yeah, I... Um, you know, I'm taking the risk of bringing 27 gold back to Tendrum now. Oh, is that a port? No, <laughs> it's a red star. So, you know, I'm taking a risk, but, uh, you know, that's part of what this game entails. So, so if it turns out that uh, I get jumped and killed, then, you know, so be it. <laughs> you know, that's what happens when you want to transport things and... and something goes wrong, that's just part of the game. You got a friend request. Nada V. Okay. Okay, so I'll just...
<laughs> yeah, it's not easy to type and write at the same time. Now, am I still going the right way? <laughs> Got distracted. Uh, hope I'm not heading in the wrong direction. Yeah, I'm glad that uh, that a lot of viewers uh, who have watched my videos they've <coughs> they've enjoyed it and learned a lot. So it's great to see, and that's certainly uh, what's uh, part of what makes uh, making these videos so enjoyable. It's the it's the interactions I can have with other viewers, with the viewers that, uh, that watch my videos and. And of course, other players in the game as well. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, you know, when, whenever I see this thing, it makes me think that there's a giraffe. It's uh, a, <laughs> it's in the shape of a giraffe when you see it from a distance. <coughs> uh, Knights Templars territory. Yeah, so heading towards the bridge, and my heart is starting to pound. That's what this game can do to you. It's the risk versus reward. And for some people, uh, I think this game can be too much, and and I think that's why, you know, the mainstream crowd probably stays away from this game because it's uh, it's not the average MMORPG. This is a hardcore, you know, weapon world PvP, full looting, no holds barred, and I think that's what. Uh, I think for a lot of people that's too much for them. Ooh, okay. Please let me make it through. And SV, <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again, please remove the loading screen. <laughs> or at least make it so that when you cross the continent, your horse is, um, you know, stops rather than continues moving like it, like it currently does. Unless, of course, you fixed it. But uh, yeah, I really don't like the idea of a loading screen at all because you know this game when it was shipped when it came out never had a loading screen beyond the one that you see when you log in with a character okay so we made it through to the loading screen <laughs> Yeah, I always wonder what that sound is. I'm not sure if you heard that boom 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 boom. And then there's like <laughs> yeah, You can hear my horse galloping. Yeah, that's not good. It means that the, it means that the horse is still moving even though you know, I still see the loading screen. See, that's what I mean. <laughs> okay, so another, so one of my viewers told me that uh, you know I should travel along. Walker Swordsman told me that I should 
travel along here. Nice snatch. Uh. <laughs> What's this? What is it? There's a fresh walking dead going after something or someone. Yeah, so one of my viewers told me that I should travel along the coast. Because last time I almost got, uh, yeah, I, I encountered two players on a hill, and the moment they saw me, they started making a beeline for me. So, so I've been. So the viewer suggested that I should travel along the coast, and hopefully that's safer. Well, let's hope that this is the case. Oh no, <laughs> that's another player. Oh, RPK. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Now that's what happens when the player population goes up. <laughs> you run into plays in the wild. That's a good thing, and it's a bad thing. <laughs> good for the game but it's bad for me <laughs> oh wow look at that you, s you see how different the scenery looks I mean that looks so much better than it used to be yeah that really looks so much better and you know I think SV did a really good job with the uh, oh, the street guard standing I'm not going to stop, I'm just going to keep traveling, uh, but before I do that, I'm just going to stop and let my horse recover the stamina. <coughs> okay, so let's hopefully, let's hope that history doesn't repeat itself. Let's hope that this goes well. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid that hill. But then again, you know, there could be player killers out here as well, so you never know. There's no way that's there's no route that is gonna be safe. But I think I just but I think I've just had an idea. Why don't I do a why don't I do a patrol route, patrolling a route kind of thing? Yeah, <laughs> I just had an idea. Yeah, I've been, you know, I've been thinking how to, you know, expand what I do in the uh, auxiliary peacekeeping citizenry or the APC, and. And yeah, look at the leaves. And uh, so basically, I've been thinking about. Oh, sorry, I <laughs> didn't even realize you were talking to me. Did you send the cape, bro? Because I need to go to school in a bit.
Okay, so Nadavi says he needs to go to school. <laughs> and so I, I was too busy traveling and just watching out for danger that I completely missed completely missed his uh, message. So sorry about that, Nadavi. It's okay, bro. Sorry for sending a lot of messages. Need to go to school in a bit. No problem. Hope you have a good day at school. Yeah, I definitely love the weather system. This is such a good system to have in this game. And the fact that it's dynamic and and it's not scripted, you know, that's what I love. I love things that are not scripted. And I love things that are that are governed by, you know, they have a complex system that governs the way it works. Maybe I can get a spoiler. Do you record while being outside of Tindrum? <laughs> I can get a spoiler. Uh, did you record while being outside of Tindrum? <laughs> okay, so maybe Nota V will make it into the spoiler at the beginning of each video is he waiting at the front Jacob Jacoby Jack Jacob Jacoby Jacoby the tamer or the something okay so Nada V okay just need to remember his spelling in his name so I, I don't get get it wrong <laughs> and okay so first thing first let me get my put my gold into my bank because I don't want I don't want thieves to make off with it and I'll dump everything put everything down don't care where it goes just put it all down <laughs> and one silver to mail it to what you know what I think what I'll do first is okay that's not uh, that's not another V the butch Weapon payment from Ah, okay, so he sent the Okay, so let me just Wait, was that five gold? Did he Yeah, and anyway let me just grab the <coughs> Yeah that's five gold. That, put that inside and okay. okay let's try this again okay so this time it works so we'll send it to Nada Nada V Nada V with two eyes man Tindrum is crowded let's 
send that in there not the V not a V Okay, so I've achieved what I set out to do, and so I'm very happy with that. But let's get this equipment off you. Oh, look at that guard run. And what happened there? You just kill a dog. <laughs> okay, so he's um So he's still on, so hopefully he's um he gets it. He gets the cape. And And we'll need one silver to stable the horse. Alright, so <laughs> he's, he's offline. Okay, let's Whew. So glad I made it back <laughs> with the twenty seven gold. And thank you, Nada V, for the five gold for the cape, and hope that you enjoy it. So I think this is where I'll leave it, and so I want to thank you for watching. And as always, if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is One Gaming Connoisseur. Take care.